In order to import information in Inventory Planner, create a spreadsheet. The first column will be your identifying information. This can be SKU, barcode, or ID. Next, create another column for each field of information that you would like to import into Inventory Planner. Here we're going to be updating lead time and days of stock. Once your spreadsheet is created, go to Inventory Planner and find the Import button at the bottom of the screen. We can find lead time and days of stock in Replenishment. First, we'll select our file and attach it to the dialog. Once the blue bar at the top of the dialog is complete, then the file is attached. Now we need to match up the column title to the field in Inventory Planner that has the corresponding information. We can see that SKU is already identified now we'll match lead time and days of stock. Finally, if you have more than one warehouse in your inventory planner location, be sure that you select the correct warehouse. In this case, lead time and days of stock can be updated with different information for different warehouses. Finally, we'll click on Upload. We'll see a summary of what changes have been made, as well as if any errors were found during the upload. If there are errors, you'll have the chance to download details so that you can see what these are. We can also see that there's a sync underway in the lower left corner. This indicates that the information is updating, and in this case, with the new lead time and days of stock, the forecast will be recalculating. Once the sync has completed, you'll be alerted that the screen needs to be refreshed in order to see the new information. Now we can confirm that we have new lead time and days of stock information for this warehouse.